Hello students, welcome to today's session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. Hope all of you are doing amazing. And today uh, we will be starting with a new chapter. So first of all, I would like to wish all of you a very happy Dashera. I guess everybody enjoyed the Dashera holiday. Yes or no? Okay, let us see how many of us are here today. One minute. Are, 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 the chat has... Vanished one minute. Just give me a second, please. Okay, so now I could see you all. Hi, Manjari. A very good afternoon. Hi, Arjishman. Hi, Mansi. Hi, Potterhead. Hello, Meena. Hi, Harshil. Uh, Harshil will come in every session and he will say that I'm new student. Okay. Hi, Elma. Hi, Vindeshwari. Red writing board. Hi, Nandini. Hi, Akansha. So, how are you all doing? Did you enjoy your Dashera holiday? Yes or no? A very happy Dashera to all of you. All right. Hi, Anubha. Hi, Smita. Thank you so much, Smita. So, today we are going to start with a beautiful lesson that is the necklace, right? And it is written by Guy D. Morphicent. All right. So, today we will be having the complete analysis of the chapter. That means we will be doing the entire story today and in the next session we will be having the important question answers and of course we are having mentee so do not go anywhere right so mentee is of course there at the end okay all right amal thomas okay hello amal thank you so much for your appreciation so uh, before starting off we will be definitely knowing about the author guy de maupassant he's a very famous author and he's, uh, you know, a 19th century French author, uh, remembered as the master of the short story form. So he's famous for his short stories, right? And his short stories end in ironical plot twist, which is quite, uh, which you will also be witnessing in this story. And you will really enjoy the story as well. And he depicted human lives and destinies and social forces in uh, often disillusioned and pessimistic terms let's see how far is this applicable in the story that we are going to study today right so before uh, um, without further ado let us begin with the story the necklace but yes before starting with the story i would just ask you one very simple question do give me the answers in the chat box right now have you ever felt the necessity of borrowing an expensive item from anybody from maybe your friends or anybody of your known have you ever felt the necessity of buying borrowing a very expensive item yes or no if yes then why i mean what what were the circumstances which made you uh, borrow such an expensive item quickly let me know in the chat box most of you are saying no okay anybody who is saying yes okay saloni says yes Harshil also says yes. So uh, please highlight the circumstances which uh, made you think that you should borrow this item knowing that the item is very expensive. Okay, quickly tell me. Okay, Sagar says never. Yes, this is live. This is live. I am right here in front of you. Okay. Yes, Reena, this is live. Those who are saying yes, please do let me know in the chat box quickly. What led... What were the circumstances which led you buy such an expensive item? Quickly. Okay. So now we will be starting with the session, starting with the story. Now there was a, a girl called Matilda, right? She was very pretty and very charming. Okay. And her grace and beauty was so great that she thought that she was meant to lead a luxurious life. Right. So she, since she was very pretty, she was very charming. She was very obsessed with luxuries. Right. And she thought that she was meant for all the kind of luxuries in her life. Wearing beautiful clothes, expensive jewelry and residing in a big mansion. This was her dream. Right. Since she was very beautiful, of course, she was, you know, she always wanted to adorn herself with expensive jewelry, beautiful clothes. And, uh, and also she wanted a big mansion. This was her dream. OK. Nobody told me. Nobody told me what uh, circumstances led uh, you to borrow an expensive item from your friend. Nobody from you. Nobody uh, amongst you told me. Okay, so Smita says, 
I borrowed some chocolate from my sister. <laughs> no, no, no. Chocolate is, you know, it's not that expensive, right? Chocolate. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Any expensive item that you had borrowed? Okay. Next, uh, she could have easily taken as a lady of great wealth because, of course, she was having that kind of appearance, her grace, everything was astounding, superb, right? So definitely she could easily be taken as a lady of great wealth if she is, uh, if she would have been, uh, you know, uh, if she would have had beautiful clothes and expensive jewelry to wear, right? So before moving further, guys, I am really happy and elated to announce that Vedanta students have bagged top ranks in IIT JE and this has been the best results amongst all online classes. So let us join hands together and celebrate the success of our super scorers and also be motivated and follow the same path, right? Okay, so proceeding with the story. Uh, unfortunately, although she was very beautiful and she thought that she deserved all the luxuries in her life, but as luck would have it, what happened was she was born into a poor family. So she could not afford all those luxuries that she so much as she craved for and that she, uh, uh, you know, that was her dream, right? So her family also did not have any dowry for her. So, of course, she could not even get married to a rich family because she did not have the uh, required dowry for that. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, before proceeding further, just now as I had announced the uh, very good, I mean, amazing results of our students of I, uh, you know, JE Advanced. So, here I'm going to talk about the problems that the students usually face the hurdles that come in the path of education and how to remove those hurdles so that you can also bag uh, top ranks in various exams that you come across in your life, right? So in order to do and give your best, you need to remove first the hurdles that is hindering your path of progress. So let us talk and discuss about those problems and let me know if you agree with uh, me on this. So the first problem that you face is you have so many doubts, yes or no? Hi, Mansi. So quickly tell me. Okay, doubts, notes. You have no and you have no proper notes. Unavailability of notes becomes your second major problem, and as a result, your tests you do not uh, you cannot solve the assignments properly, and your test marks also suffer. Competitive exams, you do want to crack various competitive exams, but you do not have the proper guidance for that. Choice of schedule, choice of language being the major, other major issues that you face. So now you don't need to worry at all because we are here for your help. And we have solved all your problems in our platform. In terms of doubt clearing, what do you have? You have our master teachers and, and our class teachers. So this our uh, entire team of class teacher is only and only there for your doubt solving. So they are this this catering to your doubts, which is a major hindrance in the path of your learning. That has been taken care by our entire team. An entire team is there for just, you know, your doubt clearing. Notes you are going to get after each and every session. Assignment after each and every session. And competitive exams, definitely. You're going to, uh, we are going to also take care of various Olympiads and other competitive exams. And we also conduct tests and we give you the performance report of those tests. And based on those performance reports, you can assess yourself where exactly you are standing and work accordingly and work hard as well as smart. Smart work is always appreciable and it always yields the best results, guys. And we in this platform, in our Vedantu platform, help the students in making them work smart along with working hard, right? So all this in your choice of schedule and in your selected language. And Hanji Ashutosh, we do have a mentee. Okay. And we, this doesn't end here, guys. We also have some amazing bonus features like micro course, crash course, performance report. I mean, micro course and crash course. This is something which you need to know. Micro course are short courses and this, these are chapter wise courses. So you can actually uh, 
uh, take care i mean if you have any problem in any chapter that gap is also being fulfilled by our micro courses which in which you can automatically enroll yourselves when you are enrolling when you are taking the subscription so no a uh, separate enrollment for the micro courses and crash courses at all so these are amongst the bonus features that we are providing and the best part is personalized attention which is not always possible in youtube right that is possible in our live classes guys in our vedantu platform okay guys so what you need to do is just visit the link there in the description box and pin comment and choose your grade choose your board check out the details click on get subscription and you have three types of subscription one month three months and six months just uh, the most recommended one would be the six months wala subscription so that you can also avail how by applying the coupon code and that is going to give you the uh, you know discount offer right so please do apply the coupon code in order to avail the outstanding discount so quickly visit the link below and apply the coupon code swrepro in order to avail the outstanding discount and give us the opportunity to provide you with the best all right guys so now are thank you harshil yes do do like the like the video guys thank you harshil for that all right now finally as i told you that uh, her parents did not have dowry uh, now what is dowry one of you asked me so uh, you know dowry is actually nowadays prohibited dowry is in hindi we call it dahej so that is the you know uh, giving money you know exchange you uh, the idea previously was exchange of gifts but later on it changed to something uh, you know it turned out to be demand so definitely uh, we cannot uh, have demands from the bridegroom side right so uh, so uh, you know dowry has now been you know prohibited there are laws against uh, dowry as well right so um, here it means money okay so finally she uh, you know married a little clerk called louisel in the ministry of education so of course uh, he was of the same standard in terms of financial financial situation so now uh, with this we need to focus on something very important you know from the very beginning the author is making a very a uh, neat class division right so uh, class division he is bringing our focus from the very beginning into class division uh, of that is there in the society that means the rich class the higher class and the working class this is the social division that he is bringing our focus and when we will be reading the story further we will see how this focus uh, you know uh, how this division intensifies further right okay so next is ma'am louisel she came to be after marriage she came to be called as ma'am louisel and then what kind of apartment did they live in they lived in an apartment with you know uh, these kind of you know shabby walls worn out furniture so therefore she was very unhappy with the apartment's shabby walls and worn out furniture because uh, you know she dreamt of having a luxurious life so let alone be luxurious life what now she had was even not a well maintained house so that was kind of very depressing for her and now we have a question for you what would matilda often dream of quickly let me know in the chat box quickly beta smita uh, subject verb agreement uh, video for subject verb agreement is also already out in youtube please check it out okay to live in big house okay to have a luxurious life yes so she wanted all the delicacies all the luxuries in her life right and in the text it is very uh, you know it's mentioned in detail what kind of luxuries did she want right rich uh, you know houses uh, you know a uh, rich uh, what should i say very uh, expensive dishes uh, and you know crockery where uh, you know she is going to have uh, delicacies right so uh, once there was there was also an incident when she prepared a, a, you know meal she prepared a, a, a hot pie okay and her husband uh, when she he was actually praising the wife for the meal that she had for the hot pie that she had prepared she was not satisfied with the praise but she started dreaming of the rich 
uh, crockery uh, that she could have, the rich, uh, the expensive dishes that she could have, the expensive, the exquisite dinners that she could, you know, have all those. So she was more and more uh, keen towards. Uh, she was more and more, uh, you know, uh, connected towards the materialistic aspect of our of her life rather than appreciating or understanding the deeper values of relationship. Right, so that was something which was troubling her. Right, she also hated visiting her old friend, Madame Forestier, because she was a rich lady. So all of us, we love visiting our friends. Right, uh, in friendship, we hardly think about the social standards or whether the friend is rich or I am poor or something like that. So the class division, the financial division, doesn't come in between our friendship. But since Matilda was more and more obsessed with her wealth that she did not have, she craved for having those luxuries and wealth uh, that. But uh, her, uh, you know, friend had those kind. Uh, she was rich, so therefore, what happened was, uh, whenever she used to visit her friend, she always returned dissatisfied. Right? She became sad and she cried for days together. Now one day when her husband returned home from work, he got an invitation to a party at the house of a minister of public instruction. Remember this? House of the minister of public instruction. Okay. That was the invitation. Uh, so the name is also given. Ma'am Rampunyu, you know, see the minister of education and Madam uh, Rampunyu. This is the name. Please do remember the names. Okay. From here, they received an invitation. So you can be asked a question of who invited, from where did they receive the invitation? Okay, so that time you need to remember the name. All right. So, and uh, now uh, what would you be your expectation? Now, when you receive such an invitation, what is the first thought that strikes in your mind? Quickly, let me know. Suppose you receive an invitation in place of Matilda. What would your, uh, you know, what would strike immediately in your mind? Quickly, let me know. Sanju says, I would feel elated. Okay. Of course, Manjuri, my blessings are always with you. I am sure you are going to rock tomorrow's, in tomorrow's exam. Dress. Absolutely. Avanik is right on the track. Yes, dress. So, similarly, Matilda also, uh, you know, was very irritated and angry and she threw away the card. Why? Because she did not have a proper dress to wear for the party. And what was her dream? She was so obsessed with looking beautiful. She wanted to be distinguished. She wanted to be famous because she was beautiful. And she wanted, you know, all the luxuries, beautiful dresses, exquisite jewelry. So that people would know her, right? But she did not have those. And without those, she would never visit the party, right? So what happened now, we will see. But first, do let me know the answer to this question. Why did Matilda throw the invitation spitefully? Quickly let me know in the chat box. Hi, Srinidhi. Hi, Pariket. All the best for your exams tomorrow. I'm sure you are going to rock. Okay, Achishman says she did not have a beautiful dress. Absolutely. Okay, so she was upset because she did not have anything to wear at such an extravagant party. Now, my question to you again is, what would you have done if you would not have had a proper dress suitable for the party to wear? Quickly, let me know in the chat box. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What would you have done when, uh, suppose, you do not have a dress which is suitable for a party that you, have, that you need to attend? What would you have done? Quickly. Borrow or buy. Kamya says borrow or buy. Okay, so let us see what did Matilda do. Did she do the same? Okay, so her friend gave her 400 francs to buy a new dress. And he had been saving these 400 francs to buy a gun. So that he could go hunting with his friends. And this sacrifice, uh, he sacrificed this amount in order to, um, you know, make her, make his wife happy. Now, what can you say about her husband from this from this gesture of sacrificing his 400 francs that he had saved so that he could buy a gun 
only to make her, make his wife happy what could what uh, could you say about uh, you know mozio uh, lewis come on quickly tell me yes justy there is a mental quiz at the end very quickly tell me caring good person loving generous okay okay excellent compassionate understood his wife very good all of you are absolutely correct okay and then what happened next was okay now let's say you have got this beautiful dress okay you could afford this beautiful dress now what next would you think after getting this after you know uh, being satisfied with the dress what is the next thought that is going to strike you jewelry mansi says jewelry okay let us see whether it was same for matilda as well so after buying the dress she was sad again why because now she wanted the accessories right after buying the dress we are not satisfied with that what else do we want which jewelry which accessories uh, is going to you know with what accessories am i going to wear which is going to suit my dress that i have similar was the case with matilda okay and now suppose you have got the dress now you want the jewelry like matilda and um, you think that you are not able to afford that much so what are you going to do if let's say you are not able to afford you are in place of matilda not able to afford the jewelry but you uh, but you think i mean what would you do would you go for uh, you know go without the jewelry or what would you do come on okay most of you say borrow okay she will she is going to borrow we know that but what would you have done in her place would you also borrow but <laughs> one of you said beg okay borrow from me okay very good megna has a good answer handmade jewelry okay very good great uh i would be satisfied okay avani says what with whatever i am i have i would be satisfied with that okay great go without jewelry okay rat says Yeah. Okay, Rat would go without jewelry. All the best, Kamya. Okay, let us see what did uh, Matilda do and what was the consequence of that. Her husband suggested she could borrow the jewelry from her friend, Madam Forestier. Remember that rich friend that she had. Okay. Now, when she went to her friend's house and described the situation, she showed her cupboard and asked her to choose whatever she liked. and metal that chose a precious diamond necklace which was kept in a satin box so i remember i told you what have what expensive have you uh, borrowed from your friend or from anybody okay and what made you borrow that uh, expensive item look beautiful okay pami says All right. So now let us see what happened with Matilda. Now they finally went to the minister's party, and everyone she was looking so gorgeous that everyone admired her. And remember, that was what she had always wanted in her life to get the admiration of people, to be distinguished. So she enjoyed the party very much. She was almost, you know, intoxicated with pleasure. She was dancing, right? And she was very happy. and her husband was dozing in another room right with some of her with some of uh, some men whose wives were also enjoying the party so poor husband right and matilda did not care even to come uh, to her husband she was enjoying herself it she forgot that it was because of her husband that she had come to the party right because of her because of his sacrifice of those 400 francs that she could even buy a dress but all those things did not matter to her what mattered was that she looked beautiful she was enjoying the party she was being admired by people around her right that was what she was how did you celebrate the shera i celebrated it with my family uh, thank you so much for asking and it went very well i hope all of you enjoyed too okay yes Hi, Baba. Taken your name, dear, and I hope that you will be coming in our upcoming sessions as well. And welcome. 
Okay. Now, finally, they decided at 4, 4 a.m. in the morning when they decided that they should leave the party. They should. They also couldn't find a carriage. And looking at her, uh, uh, at his wife, first of all, the husband wrapped her with a cloak. But now, let's say uh, you are in place of Matilda, and you know uh, somebody is wrapping you, uh, wrapping you up with a cloak. Your bare shoulders are being wrapped up by somebody uh, with a cloak. Uh, what would you, I mean, uh, what do you think about um, Louisel? What What would you think about that person? Or what would you think about the whole situation? Quickly tell me. Caring husband, right? Okay. The more you greed, what you have that you lose. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Exactly. Okay, so caring. Yes, so you would be really appreciating the care and the love that the other person is giving, right? But Matilda hardly understood that. What she was concerned about was that the other ladies were wrapping themselves in fur, but she was not satisfied with whatever she had, right? So what was her concern was the material of the cloth, which was not expensive like the other ladies. Right? So she was only and only thinking about the materialistic aspects, the superficial aspects of life and not about the deeper meaning and values of life. Right? So finally they left. Okay, uh, They got a carriage which dropped them right outside their door. And Matilda, uh, when she thought about having a final look at her appearance and when she saw herself in the mirror, she was shocked. She was shocked when she saw herself in the mirror because she had no more. Uh, she did not have the necklace with her anymore. That was lost. That was gone. Right? Now think about the situation. Uh, let's say you said that, uh, you know, you had borrowed some expensive item. If I remember, I asked, I remember I asked you the question. Now, suppose you lose that item. What next? What are you going to do next? If you, if you borrow an expensive item from your friend and if you lose that, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Scared? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So, that should say, oh, God. I have borrowed a, uh, for a video shoot an expensive, okay, pet, Acha pet, pet, okay, all right. Now, let's say that pet runs away. What are you going to do next? Jema <laughs> Kadi, tell the truth, okay. Uh, one of you said, Shashti said that she's going to tell the truth. Good idea, very good idea. Let's see if Matilda also owns that idea or she does something else. Now, first of all, Mr. Louisel, of course, he uh, tries to search for that necklace everywhere, railway tracks, right, police station, cab offices, and even he uh, gave an advertisement uh, for reward to the person who's going to return the necklace. But every effort went in vain. And then finally, when every effort went in vain, he, uh, decided, he told his wife to tell her friend that the clasp of the necklace had broken and he had given it for repair, right? Now, question for you guys. What excuse did the Louisels put up to explain the delay in the returning of the necklace? Quickly, let me know. Hi, Thomas. Come on, quickly tell me. Yes, Mansi is absolutely right. Very good. Okay. After a week now, what happened was the necklace could not be found and they decided finally to replace uh, the necklace with a similar one. Now, they found the necklace priced at 36,000 francs. Okay. Now, finally, they decided to replace the necklace and they found a necklace priced at 36,000, which was, of course, quite expensive. Now, how are they going to buy that necklace? Now, this is what they did. Miss Mosier Louisel had inherited 18,000 francs from the father, from his father, and the rest he had to borrow. And in this process, you know, 
it took them 10 years to repay of course they could not borrow without you know keeping everything in mortgage so now they had to pay the loan and how long did they pay their loan 10 long years and within these 10 long years their lives completely altered drastically changed they moved to a smaller apartment removed the maid Matilda cooked the food and washed the clothes by herself even that um, Lewis and had to work for multiple jobs to repay and borrow the money. In these years, Madame Louisel started to look much older. Her hair also was badly dressed. Her voice became loud. Now, this slide is very important because these talks, uh, the, the slide talks about the changes in Matilda. Okay, so this slide is important. So please take care uh, and be careful. So her voice also became loud and she became a normal person who would carry a basket. So she had to do uh, everything, okay, all the household chores, buying, uh, you know, carry a basket to the grocery store, the butcher store, fruit store, buying daily supplies, everything A to Z, right? And one day she finally met her friend, that friend, right? And she decided to tell the truth, okay, and explain how she was di indirectly responsible. So first, initially when she met her friend, her friend couldn't even recognize that this was the same Matilda, the beautiful Matilda, because Matilda had completely changed all her beauty, also had faded away, completely gone, right? And now when she asked, uh, Matilda said that this was actually, she was responsible for the entire drama in Matilda's life, right? Now, she explained to her friend how she had borrowed the necklace and she had lost that necklace. And then finally, in order to take loan, she had to completely change her lifestyle, right? And she had to take a loan and then in order to repay that loan, she had to do so much of, uh, of hard work that her completely complete life was altered. On hearing this, Madam Forestier, she told Matilda, she made a very shocking revelation. And as I told you, that Guiding Moppison's short stories usually end with an ironic plot twist. So that is what happened with Matilda as in this story as well. Because, uh, you know, this uh, lady, the friend told her that the necklace that she had borrowed was not of real diamond. It was a fake one and the cost was not worth more than 500 francs. So now I have a question for you again. Do tell me, was it as, you know, uh, uh, Madam, Madam Aloisel, she blamed her friend saying that it was, in, you know, it was because of the entire change in her life was because of the friend, right? So what do you think? Who was responsible for this entire drama in Matilda's life? Quickly do tell me in the chat box. Yes, it was fake one. Yes, Lisa. I would have become mad. Okay. Matilda. Matilda. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much. Great. Okay. So most of you are saying that it was the uh, fault of not the friend, but Matilda. Right. So we will be talking about all this. What was the situation? So today we have discussed the entire story. Now, in the next class, we will be analyzing about the theme and what the writer is trying to tell in the story and what is the message that the, that he is going to put, uh, you know, he's going to, he's trying to convey through the story. All the deeper nuances and deeper aspects of the story that is going to be discussed in the next session. And how is it the story and whose fault is it? It is, is it Matilda's fault or is it, uh, you know, the friend's fault? All these various, I mean, multiple interpretations of the story is going to be discussed in the next class, right? So today we have just discussed the events of the story, right? And this is the homework question for all of you. What kind of person is Matilda Louisel? Support your answer giving examples from the story necklace. So please do comment on the homework question in the comment section. And that was all from my end. Uh, now don't go anywhere. We have the mentee session as well. But please do visit the link in the description box. Choose your board, choose your grade, check out the details. 
click on get subscription you have three types of subscription as i told you the most recommended would be the six month subscription because if you pay each month you pay more than what you pay all at once for six months don't forget to apply the coupon code swrepru to avail the discount price and now before starting with the venti session please do hit the like button guys okay so now we will be starting with the venti session do hit the like button quickly one minute okay so the first i mean first of all uh, i'm telling you the code 3660264 quickly 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 join the venti quiz yes beta ashutosh here you go the menti code is 3660264 hanji sakshi menti is right there in front of you come on guys join the menti quiz okay i now yes you are absolutely correct so we will be discussing this point in the next class so please do come back in the next class all right so most of you have joined so now let us begin the very first question guys be prepared for the very first question of today's session who is the author of the story the necklace the simplest question ever come on H.G. Wells, Robert W. Peterson, Guy De Maupassant, none of the above. Very simple, guys. Come on, answer faster. Come on, come on, come on. All right, very good. Guy De Maupassant is the correct answer, and most of you have given the correct answer. Very well done. One minute. Okay, sorry, sorry for the disruption. I'm really sorry. Okay. So, hello, ma'am is the fastest. Uh, Harshil, arey, thank you so much. Subhashmita in Kolkata. Where to meet you? Okay, in Kolkata. <laughs> you, when you come to Kolkata, I'm going to tell you. It, uh, my house is near Botanical Garden. Okay. So, uh, next is. Uh, Vandita, okay. Abhinav Sharma, CBSE ninth, your AC. Oh my God, thank you so much. Anjali Yogi, Shweta Ma'am fan, thank you. Nandini, thank you so much, Nandini. And uh, Ashlyn, Ashlyn from Kanya Kumari. Wow, lovely place. I have never visited Kanya Kumari, but would love to visit. And Prasi, very well done. Congratulations, all of you. Thank you so much for your. a uh, full participation next question raise yourselves up everybody i want to see new people up on the leaderboard come on what does madam louise think she deserves important question suffering luxury delicacies both b and c be very careful and then answer come on Okay, time's up. So let us have a look. Fir se miss click. No problem. We are no problem. All right. So most of you are absolutely correct. It's both luxury and delicacies. She want. She thought that she deserved all the luxuries and delicacies in her life. Next question on your screen. But before that, let us have a look at the leaderboard. Okay. Subhashmita is the has secured the first uh, position and being the fastest. Harshil, Pranav, Ashlyn, Anjali in Kolkata. Where to meet you? Okay. Prasi, Sanju loves English and boats. Okay. Amal Thomas, Shweta Ma'am fan. Thank you, Amal. Thank you, Sanju and Ashley. Very well done. Very well done. Okay, guys. Next question on your screen. I could see so many people, new people on the leaderboard. Very happy to see you all. Brace yourselves for the next question. Third question on your screen right away. 
for what had Louisan saved 400 francs? Very simple. To buy gun, to buy clothes or both. Very simple. We had discussed this today in the session also. Thank you, Rajavel. Thank you so much. How can you join Menti? The instruction is right here. Go to menti.com. Use the code 36602264. Very well done. To buy a gun is the correct answer. So let us have a look at the leaderboard. So he had sacrificed that those, uh, you know, 4,000 francs, okay, uh, which he had saved to buy a gun so that he could go to a uh, gun, I mean, uh, shoot, go with his friends uh, for, you know, that gun, uh, you know, the, the, the game, the shooting game, all right, okay, Harshil, Ashlyn, Kritarj, ma'am, okay, Kritarj, um, love you, ma'am, forever, thank you so much, Kritarj, Anjali, Parsi, Sanju, Nandini, thank you so much. Jay, uh, Amna and Shrushti. Okay, again new students, very well done. All the best for your next question, guys. Congratulations. Next question, the fourth question on your screen. Ariva Kunal, very good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Great. How did Mrs. Loisel perform at the ball? None noticed her. She had great success. She did not enjoy the ball. All of these. Think about the answer and then mark your answers. No problem. Great, great. Okay. She had great success. Absolutely correct. So she had, what was the success? Now this success is also very important. This success is very short lived because it is talking about the superficiality of life, right? What was the success that everybody was admiring her, right? So that was the, that was kind of success for her because all her life she had dreamt of that. Okay. Okay. Kritarth, thank you so much Kritarth and you're the fastest. Nandini, Sanju, um, Ashley, Aditya, Amna, Harshil, Mansi wants a high five. High five, Mansi. Aditya lives in Hooghly. Okay. Not very far from my place. All right. Next question, guys, on your screen. And I'm really glad to see again new people up on the leaderboard. Next question, fifth question. Hurry up. When would she weep for whole days? After dinner, after lunch, after visiting her friend, anytime. Very simple question. Come on. Thank you, Agnes. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Very good. After visiting her friend and her friend was uh, very rich, right? So that is why she would always weep because she would always be dissatisfied with her life. Why would she be dissatisfied? Because of only her materialistic needs which she could not fulfill, right? And which her friend could. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, Kritarth is the fastest. Sanju, Nandini. Aditya, Ashley, Amna, Mansi, uh, then Harshil lives in Hooghly, Aditya. Thank you so much and very well performed. Congratulations. Next question on your screen right here. Last question, guys. All the best. Give your best. Last question. What spoiled Mr. and Mrs. Louisel's pleasure? Very simple question. The loss of the dress, the loss of money, the loss of the diamond, all of the above. Very simple question. Come on, guys. Oh, okay, Rujuta. Thank you, Prem. Absolutely correct. Very well answered. Are you guys excited to look at the final leaderboard? Yes or no? Okay, guys, finally the board. Finally the board. 
सोनू थैंक यू सो मच सोनू Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. We all are very excited to have the winner today. Okay, Kritarth. Kritarth is our winner today. Congratulations, Kritarth, and congratulations to all my lovely kids who have participated wholeheartedly. And thank you for being such an amazing class. Don't forget to hit the like button and share the videos to your friends. Share this video to your friends and. do visit the link in the description box and quickly check out the details and be a part of our vedantu family do subscribe to the channel as well thank you so much take care see you again in the next session till then bye bye